Oh my god. I can't believe it. I just... <laughs> play around this so some guy shows up and I'll talk to you. This is really, really encouraging. <clears throat> Man, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. I can't believe he actually did it. He fired Brandon Streeter. Now Dabo showed he's got a little bit of gumption and a little bit left. I'm so happy he actually did this. It is a complete shock to my system. I mean, can we get a thumbs up, uh, a like on this? Because this is all about just celebration of like Dabo actually proving some of us wrong. And that makes me happy. Like I said before, I would like nothing more than for him to prove me wrong on everything that I've been frustrated about or that I've, I've spoken about. I'm just, I can't believe that this just happened. It's just like, almost like Christmas cookies. Now, what's really important is, is who does he hire? Who does he go after? I mean, he's got enough money to do whatever he wants. Who does Dabo go and get now that he's going in a different direction. This is actually very exciting for Clemson football. I mean, as long as he doesn't, you know, hire from within again on this one, and I just, ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> please let me know, let me know what you're thinking if you're in there. I just have no idea of what to say or what to feel. It's just been it's been a very long, frustrating time, and I just want to wear my shades so you don't see me tear up a little bit because it's been absolute hell. We we know it has been two years of garbage, man. It's been terrible. Does this mean that um? Does this mean that um? What's his name? He used to be the offensive coordinator. Uh, the dual coordinator system it doesn't mean that he's coming back. That'd be good news for wide receivers. <laughs> that guy knew how to recruit wide receivers. His name Brad. Uh... God, why does his name elude me? It's so frustrating. Um. Anyways, all I want is to have a really good innovative, forward-thinking offensive coordinator who can make adjustments on the fly, know how to attack different defenses, see what the defense is given, go and attack that. I like that. That's what I want. But it's not about what I want. It's what, I know, obviously, Dabo knows what he, he knows what he's going to have to do. Um, unfortunately, this is a year later than what I had hoped. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can learn how to incorporate those running backs a little bit better, and hopefully, he'll go out there and get some, uh, get that wide receiver group built built up, and run some type of offense where, you know, you're not always trying to fit you know square pieces into round holes. You know, that's what that's what DJ Uyunglele was. He was a he was a giant square piece. They were trying to fit in a round hole. Had a really strong arm. Yeah, exactly. It's a big fucking win, man. I'm so happy that he made this decision. Uh, I'm, I don't hate Brandon Streeter, but I just felt that he lasted. He lacked the testicular fortitude to actually, you know, he's too scared. He was too scared, it seemed like, all the time. 
and it seemed like the, the game plan was basically just running the same things that were being ran before. But I just want to say huge W for us. Let's hope that the hire is not, you know, like Spiller for offensive coordinator or um, Wes Goodwin's Tweedledub brother out there somewhere. <laughs> but this is very good news. Uh, I hope he goes out and hires a real winner. And uh, that's about all I can ramble about saying the same thing. Please like, like, subscribe, tell your friends to check it out, whatever. I'll come back. I'm pumping up the channel a lot with all the cool stuff. You see me in the corner, see all different stories. All that's coming. Um, I just, this just hit quick, so I just hit live right like this. So I just hit live immediately just to share because that's big news, major news for the program. It's all, it's all going up from here, I hope. Couldn't go much further down before this thing would fall apart. Have a good night.